everyone, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. This is episode 28. Last time, we explored more of the Shadow Curse lands, landing ourselves in the bottom section here, entering from the Trielta Crag. So we did explore a little bit here, coming across a absolute group here, some half orcs as well, which was really fun. Having a conversation, it was revealed that they are waiting for the true soul that Minthara let them know about, that will have a spider's liar to summon a guide to go to Moonrise. We've told them, hey, relax, we'll be back, because I'm I'm hesitant, because obviously Moonrise Towers has been like this thing that's like, we gotta go here, we gotta do this, everything points to Moonrise, you know what I mean? We've got uh, multiple people that have been taken here captive, we have multiple groups also kind of aware of it. Uh, we do have many journal entries in relation to these things as well in regards to infiltrating, talking to Jahira. Uh, we've also got the situation of uh, getting to the, the Night Song with the Sharan Temple. So that's going to be nearby. Wolbrun's there. The Grand Duke is there. Um, there's also... Daniel, the spirit of the land that Halson has mentioned also. So there, there is just uh, many things for us to consider here. So before I do something like putting myself in an absolute patrol and going to the uh, Moonrise Towers, we're going to take a bit of a look around. I was hoping that we could find uh, another waypoint. And if we do... We'll take that opportunity to travel back to the Last Light Inn and talk with uh, Jahira, considering we, you know, that was sort of the first area that we've, first safe haven that we've been able to find. And we'll talk to more people there because it ended up being like this thing where we go in there, we're happy that the tieflings are there, and then we find Damon and then we, you know, you know how it went. Everything kind of chain reactioned into, let's go to camp immediately. Uh, so we do need to go around this place and make sure that we talk to everyone before we do something like pushing in this direction. But we'll see how we go. A, a lesson that I want to sort of take with me from the Underdark was uh, we pushed through everywhere, everywhere, until the main objective was the last thing that we could do. And then what we learned from that encounter was just because we arrived at the main objective doesn't mean that we are stuck there. And I'm hoping that that same rule can apply to future maps, future encounters, because we arrived at Nia's uh, rubble and we had the communication with him. And then there was the, we need to get explosives, but we'd already arrived and been like, look at what I got, because we'd already looked around, we'd found, um, the, we'd had the rune powder encounter and stuff like that. And that was us trying to explore every inch of the map before we proceeded out of fear and maybe I should relax that a little bit. Who knows? And I could make a huge mistake and it would be awful. But we'll see how we go. Okay. So I feel like taking the patrol straight to Moonrise could lock us in. But if we were to maybe investigate ourselves, maybe we have more of a chance. Um, so that was my long-winded way of saying um, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. <laughs> but... I hope that uh, whatever happens, things work out for the best. Uh, so we're going to push in. Luckily, we have light ourselves. Um, and Shadowheart, curious about this, actually. Let me, um, I think Will can, um, I think Will can wield it, right? Maybe not. Yeah, you put, you put that on you. Shadowheart's got her temporary hit points, but I wonder if talking to her without the, um, without this will do anything. Because I know that this wasn't the reason why she was the only one that was protected from the curse. It was just a funny circumstance. May the darkness protect you. And then what I want to do is I want to... Ah, there you go. See that? <laughs> Interesting. So we're all in the dark. I put the light away. 
And then there's there's like a little thing. Ooh. Isn't that cool? Hang right, on, let's split the party. Oh, I split the party. <laughs> and they're suffering from the curse. Damn, so she she is like pulsating with that purple glow. And yeah, if I like misty step her through the curse. How interesting. Ain't that a thing? Okay. There you go. Uh now I just exit turn based mode. Sorry guys, you took some damage unnecessarily there. See what I can leave. You guys chill. Alright, relax. <laughs> they took some damage out of experimentation. So, interestingly enough, um, with Shadowheart having the light equipped from uh, the Blood of Lathander, we don't actually get to see the. We don't get to see the. what she mentioned in episode 26 about how she's like, I'm, I'm being protected. And we were like, <laughs> you just want to be special. But of course, there's more to this than meets the eye. I'm very curious to see what's going to happen with, with her and how that's going to go through the story. Because it does feel quite weird. All right, Shadowheart, you caused some damage to them, so you should probably heal them. Take your Make them feel better, please. You've upset them. Take your <laughs> okay. Is that keep the party together? No. no. Let me get my torch back out, and we'll continue walking. Anyone? Uh, anyone want to go to the toilet before we uh, before we push on? I'll go. All right, you guys, give me some privacy, please. Don't stand on don't stand on top of my uh, thing. Carla, they're being mean. Close the door for me. I need to. I need to go. My singular eye through there. Some privacy, please. I need to relieve myself. There's a bucket outside for anyone else. I have a lot on my mind. All right, I'm good. Oh, well. Okay. Eat it. The exit is through the roof, apparently. At the ready. The wooden chest. Jeez. Yearning for the moon. So much has changed in our fair town. The moon used to shine so brightly here. We'd all stand out, our shoulders bared and faces upturned, drinking in her blessings like milk. Such darkness now. I must watch the moon in secret from my window or late at night when the town's asleep. Sometimes I wonder if I'm the last sane person left in Wraithwind. So we're around Wraithwind. Where are we? There's a house in deep shadows. We have a waypoint. Found it. Oh, yes. All right. Something over there. Nice. Uh, we have a waypoint, which is nice. So we can come back here um, after actually checking out the the inn a little bit more. Any structures that are no longer livable. Someone has been living in here, though. Got a little tent. A couple turns should do. Let me get in here. We have a Hammergrim Mist Amulet for a Fog Cloud spell, one of the relics of Deep Duera's rebellious children. Drugging the Key Keeper of Duera's vaults, the children crept in under cover of night and plundered their mother's treasure, searching desperately for anything that would aid in their flight. Fog Cloud blinds and heavily obscures creatures within it. Okay. Ain't that a fun thing? Um. Anyone want a fog cloud amulet? What do you got? You got misty step. You've got extra healing. Let's give you fog cloud. Why not? Why not? 
Got more than enough healing with Shadowheart. Oh, a Dwerga. Hey, a Dwerga. Hmm. And a Dirt Mound. Ray Scout's Journal. Shitting near and his shitting scouting tasks. You, Dwerga, find another way through the Shadow Curse. Sure, right, shitting near. Whoever laid this curse knew their business a lot better than you do. What was that? Gnomes, gnomes, I killed you in the Underdark. You can't be. Ha ha ha, I found your way through the curse. Shitting near, the way through the Shadow Curse is to let the curse go through you. Ha 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 ha. Oh my god. Jesus. The way through is to let it go through you. That worked out well for him, didn't it? Um, we have roots. What's going on here? We can climb it. Oh, we can climb roots. It's fun. Uh, let's go to this waypoint. And we are on the shadowed battlefield. Okay. Finding this waypoint. We're actually... We can actually just walk back to the last light in, actually, instead of just teleporting. The house in deep shadows. We will check out. We will. Not right at this moment. We're going to get back to Last Light. A pouch hates to see me coming. I'll tell you that much. I'm taking you with me. That's storage, baby. There's one thing I love in this game. It's the storage. Hells. The curse has torn open the ground itself. Yes, it has. So, as much as I always try and be like, hey, so the plant, oh. There's a bunch of dead tieflings. Looks like there was a struggle here. And a dead cultist. Damn. What I was gonna say is every single time I say, hey, so the plan is we're gonna do this and this, it never goes according to plan because something comes up that surprises me and then we just go on a tangent. So I'm not gonna tell you what my plan is for this episode because we won't stick to it. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, a lot of dead tieflings. Damn, we encountered, we encountered one with the caravan. But unfortunately, there were so many more. A worn key. The dead cultist doesn't have anything of note. Two keys. A prison key and a storage key. God damn, they're so, like... <laughs> the descriptions for the keys are always just like... Well, if you can figure out what this is for, good luck to you. I mean, which also is very realistic, because you're not going to just pick up a random key off someone's body and be like, I know exactly what this is for, unless it's very, very peculiar, the key. <laughs> we have some glowing torches. Standing torch with a continual flame. Enveloped in flames that produce no heat and never seem to die out. Interesting. Can I take that with me? <laughs> What if I can I put it out? That's odd. Uh, it won't go out. Be nice if you could pick this up. I succeeded in our kind of check. Oh, true soul, true soul, callous. A continual flame. There's no dousing fire like this. I like that popping up. That's cool. Um, God, inventory management. Get it out of here. Go back to camp, all of this. Um, something I should start doing that I don't do enough of is um, adding things to wares as well. Um, so I'll have to pay attention to that too, because I know it's, it makes selling things easier. But I've just kind of stubbornly done it my own way, you know. But it is what it is. Um, so we'll put some stuff in there. I'll do more inventory management in a sec. We're looking around. We have a lost backpack. Journal log of True Soul Corliss. 
Day 4. Scouting mission dispatched by Kethrick Thorm to Shadowlands. Objective. Locate nest of absolute non-believers. Reached outskirts of village. Disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows. Must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. Okay. We'll grab that. Alright. Done the inventory now. Because I also needed to change my webcam over because I was noticing a little bit of lag on that one, unfortunately. So hopefully that should be okay now. Uh, we have a potter's chest. Oh, 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 oh. That's curious. Okay. That's just like a giant failure. Okay. <laughs> giant failure. We have a movable brick. Eee, Potter's chest key. A silver key marked with splotches of dried clay. Nice. And I saw that chest over there. Up on the shelves. Hello. Oh! How did I not see? Okay, so it's revealed now. Was that the perception check that I failed? I just got ambushed by a bunch of measles! Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> 88. All right, we got a bunch of measles. So hairy, hairy butt. Crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, shadow heart. Shadow heart, shadow heart, shadow heart. Going last. All right. Um. Well, I've got an idea. I don't know about you, but I've got an idea. Um, oh, I don't get an extra bonus action, so I don't think Karlak can make, Karlak can at least get to this one, can't get up there, alright, Karlak, do something cool for me, alright. Frenzy, and then, if you don't mind, go over to this measle and throw this measle into another one. Ah, oh, why are they so, why are they too far? Why are they too far? Why are they too far? Just throw it. That's such a shame. All right. Can't throw it as far as I wanted to. That's okay. Um Something that I'm interested in trying, because we're too close to doing throw a character item from the world, right? And if you do this, you have a 90% because they're too close. Because I guess it's thinking that you are throwing something from your inventory at it. But I just want to throw this itself. But I guess it's just easier to pick this. I was hoping to throw them into another character. But what's the next best thing? Let's just... throw you to my potlucks. <laughs> Asics and prone. And then um, attack it with the bonus strike. Very good. <laughs> no choice but to keep going. My turn. I think I can throw. Uh, no, because my strength is at uh, 19, isn't it? No. <laughs> if I could throw, would be doing real t shit. Just Karlak throwing to like Apocalypse and Apocalypse. Whoop! Alley you. <laughs> Too heavy, unfortunately. Let's go for the old flurry of blows. Nice. That music. Okay, we've almost taken out one measle. It's measle's turn. What do they got to do? Okay. Garrote. Garroted and garroting. Oh god. What does that do? Strangling a creature. 
And shadow teleporting? Okay, chill out, everyone. Nice. Okay. An attack of opportunity, though. Look at that. This fucking strangling? Garroting? Moving more than five meters away will break it. Well, there's something that I can do here at the very least. So, where did this one go? Oh. Wait, why is Shadow Heart all the way over here? You shut. Oh, you did garroting and then the teleport? I was too busy trying to read to see that. Interesting. Okay, so Shadow Heart's now just getting choked out in the distance. I'm a little too far to help. So we're just going to... God, I'm at a disadvantage because of being threatened. Yeah, my arms of Hadar this situation. I could misty step and go and help out. Hmm. I'm going to misty step. And I'm going to Eldritch Blast, because I have high ground now. It's too dark over there, interesting. I'll just high ground twice on this one. Wow, still missed one. I was hoping to push them back and break the strangle. That didn't work. Alright. I'm immobilized. And I'm silenced. Wow. Okay. They were smart about this with Shadowheart. So. Um, gotcha. Alright. Nice. Dazing them. But I'm still, I'm still restrained. Okay. Kylak, get this person off of you. Throw them away. <laughs> I'm immobile, so I can't throw. God damn, you can't throw. It's such a shame. I can shove, but it, they won't go. They won't go that far at all. Sadly. God damn it! Can't get at what I want. one. Oh, again. Nice. Critical miss to a critical hit. Oh, moment. All right. This goddamn shadow curse. Even with the, the light near me. Okay. Let's go for... Stunning strike. Nice. Nice. Karlak is now free because of the stun. Nice. And now dead, too. And then stunning strike on this guy. Nice. Stunned. Very good. Now I will perform a song of my people, old time battles. Yeah, so it keeps teleporting Shadowheart with them. For fuck's sake. Shadowheart's on her own at the moment. Alright, now Will is also being choked out. I do my Pack to the Blade. I'm silent so I can't get my cheeky quasit in here. Alright. Alright, here we go. Pack to the Blade per battle. I'm gonna do this. And we'll do... The Rapier. 
packed weapon. Item received. Packed bound rapier. Oh, this is cool. I just wanted to see what this would do compared to these. So we now have a packed weapon. A summonable rapier granted by a warlock's patron. Its surface crackles with interdimensional energy. And flourish. Get flourished. Saved. You suck. Alright. That's probably a waste of a turn. Alright. Shut up. You know what to do. It's all you can do. Um. Somebody's dead though. So there you go. Get the kill. Get out of here. Nice. You are now free. Okay. Now help your people out. Moving. Guess I'll just be here, guys. Just out of healing range. Reckless attack, so... I wish I could throw further than this, but I'm going to keep throwing. Get thrown. <laughs> An attack with advantage, critical hit, and then... Enraged throw. Throw it again. Throw over there. See ya. Whee! <laughs> throw it again. And then play the song of your people. Old time battles. Yeah. Beat that war drum, Karlak. Now it's my turn. 29. Flurry of blows. Nice, you're dead. Alright. And now... Get you. Sorry about that, Wheel. I put my torch away. Shouldn't have done that, but that's alright. Getting a bit shadow cursed over here. Will's in a precarious situation. Nice. He tried. Alright, Shadowheart's gonna come back in here. Can't miss his step. Here. Hello everyone, I'm back. I've joined the party. <laughs> He'll wheel because Will's about to take more damage again. And I got your Will. Throw him down. There we go. Will, you're free. <laughs> you're free, buddy. How's that for you? Want another? Okay, miss. Give it to me. I'll deal with it. Nice. And... Killed. Alright, everybody. Get over here. <laughs> That was a bit of an ambush, wasn't it? That helped. Just a little bit of an ambush. Okay, so measles. Hairy things, aren't they? And they'll bloody uh hang on, let me get my torch out. There we go. Alright, up there we go. Open this. I actually used a key. We have a note. 
And another idol of Saluna, so that's our second one. A shadow her. Good craftsmanship. Wasted on Saluna. <laughs> Maybe it can be repurposed somehow. Wasted. Uh, we have the Luminous Gloves, Radiating Orb Gloves. When the wearer deals radiant damage, the target receives two terms of Radiating Orb. Oh my god. Shadowheart, what do you have on now? Because you have... Oh, we, we took it off, didn't we? But we had that whole thing going on. So we had... What was the Radiant Orb one? All right, so it was Luminous Armor was the thing, because Radiant Shockwave inflicts a Radiant Orb in a three meter radius. So when we deal damage, you get the orb, and you could pair that with the gloves, so when you deal damage, they get more orb. <laughs> so you can just be like, you want orb? I'll give you orb. You want to ponder that bad boy? We'll do it. Now in terms of packed weapon for Will, you can unequip it too, it's just, it's just there. All right, interesting. Unequip that. I kind of wasted Will in that fight. <laughs> but that's just Will. Um, okay, let's read the note, a plain unadorned note. Moon Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn from you, no matter the consequence in this short life. Keep these artifacts of our devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother, Harfred. And his, in his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics, let the name Last Light not be important. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Ah. The Last Light Inn. Investigate their Selunite resistance. It looks like there was a burgeoning Selunite resistance to Sharon control of the region a hundred years ago. We should investigate further in the Last Light Inn. How fun. So there you go. Shadowheart's gonna be like, ugh. Must we? And I'll say yes, because I think you need to understand the truth. Your darkness is not what you think it is. Alright, so we're heading in that direction. Let's head back to the Last Light Inn with that in mind, because we've uh, we've just been kind of pottering around and <laughs> look at what's happened as a result, you know? I'll take that. Back we go, everybody. Back we go. We're going to the Last Light Inn. We'll investigate this Selenite resistance while we're at it. Watch your step, everybody. At least we weren't, like, blocked by something huge when we were getting here, because I was a bit worried, like, taking a, another entrance would be super far away. But luckily, it's within walking distance to a safe haven. Back inside. Something's on my mind. Last light, indeed. Savor it while you can. Okay. Blood, this is heavy. We shall. Okay, so we walked in here. We were taking a look around, and then we discovered Damon. Of course. <laughs> Strange fellow, that one. You sure made a mess of him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bloody blob. this. Oh, we got traps. We got blast mines. Okay. Who's down here? Bex. Gotta try and find as many tieflings as we can and say hello. You were making quite a ruckus over there. Hope everything's all right. I love the animal voices so much. All right, doing what we should have done when we first got here, but Damon got in the way. Looking around everywhere, saying hello to people, seeing what we can find in a refuge. A rustic chest, eh? Wonder what's past this. Get lockpicked. <clears throat> see a 14, eh? God, I felt that. 
Thanks for the guidance. Rippling Force Mail, gain Force Conduit when taking damage. Nice, a reduce by one per turn remaining. If the entity takes damage while it has five or more turns remaining, it deals one to four force damage in a six meter radius. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Dense notches and nicks add character to each ring of this mail, yet each blemish also speaks to those who tasted magical vengeance on the armor's behalf. So that would be like this thing where you get hit a bunch and the more you get hit, then you go and force repulse out. Ain't that fun. It's just hidden in a chest upstairs. Right. Off we go. Something that I'm curious to try with the candles, because we're holding on to a candle. Does it actually... Because this is like the... Th oh. Someone crying? Whoa. Oh. Isabel. Servant of Saluna, level 5, high half elf. Well, there's the Saluna stuff for you. Hello. Defy villainy. Saluna's protection. Okay, well, this is going to be important. Shadowheart, I've got someone for you to meet. As I listen. Whoa. Bunch of mirrors. Okay, candles. Goop in a bowl. So. It was mentioned, there was an NPC that mentioned the name, because I think that's the name of the dome that's going around this place. So so Isabel is doing the, the little ritual that's protecting us all. So how about how about that, Shadowheart? We're being protected by Saluna now. How does that make you feel? Um, sorry, I got confused and distracted. What I was gonna do was I was gonna dip this. Does this work on here? Any advantage I can get. Yeah. It does work. So you can dip your... I can dip my little guy in fire. So it's got turns remaining. I was like, what if it just, like, my club catches on fire and then just dissipates? So I can do extra fire damage. That's not a bad idea. So just bring my candle with me wherever I go. <laughs> can I dip from the inventory? Because look, I've got it. You see how I press dip and then I've got stuff. But the candle doesn't show up. Interesting. Harper Brandos. Jahira's waiting for you, is she not? Yes, everyone's waiting for me, honestly. Hello, Bex. Please, I just want to be alone. I remember you. Bex, right? Where's your man? I think if she's crying, it's not going to be good news. It's probably in that group that we just walked past. Gone? Cultists? It was so dark. I didn't realize until the children started screaming. They rounded us up. Cut us up. Said they were taking whoever could still walk to Moonrise Towers. I managed to get away. But my love... Danis... Martin Dor Roshan. God, we really need to... There's even more people for us to rescue at Moonrise, so it's definitely very urgent. Now I'm concerned if I have a long rest, they'll die. <laughs> you think he's dead? How couldn't he be? If they didn't kill him when we ran, they probably will once they get to Moonrise. I just wish I could have said goodbye. I fear that they're probably converting more people to absolute minions, though. Danis could still be alive. Don't give up on him yet. Do you really think so? By the gods, I hope you're right. I wish I hadn't let go of him. I'll find Danison and bring him back to you. 
It's hard to imagine him making it after everything that happened. But if you find him, it would mean the world to me. Okay, rescue the tieflings. We learned some from Bex that some of the tieflings, including her lover, were taken to Moonrise Towers. So, more rescue at Moonrise Towers. We'll definitely be here a while. I think the plan... No, I'm not going to tell you my plan. <laughs> I told you, I'm not telling you my plan, because well, I won't stick to it. No plan. We're winging it. However, what is... Look at this. This looks important. What's this glowing platform outside of the dome? I'm going to stand here. Doesn't this look... Doesn't this look important to you? Um, Shadowheart, stand here. <laughs> Shadowheart's the only one who's like, no. Let's get on with it. Stand in the middle, you've got the blood of Lathander, and then scream. Ooh, there's light over there. Are we going to be able to go all the way up here as well? God damn. No one stopped me yet. Very well. The scary anticipation of uh, how big this map will end up being. Got all the torches up. Oh, and graves. Not that victims of the shadow curse. At least they were afforded a burial. A liar. I wonder if you take that liar and be like, I have a liar. They're like, no, it's not the spider's liar. I hope that that's, because I can't read the signposts, I hope that that's not our tiefling bard. I hope that that's not what they're insinuating there. <laughs> that, that was potentially one of the tieflings that died. Open graves, interesting. And the blast mines across the bridge, so we don't want to do that. And we, it doesn't look like we can actually push up that way. However, we did see lights out in the distance, so maybe there'll be... Yeah, I see a boat there, so maybe there's like... boats that can take us across. Similar to the Underdark boats. Hmm. What's that? There's always one of us that are good at survival here. Another dirt mound, baby! Fain death. A glass goblet. Fragile. Harper Hangfar. <laughs> you know where they call him Hangfar, don't you? You look well equipped. Good. You wouldn't believe the state of some of these lads. Well equipped, so do you, sir. I see why they call you Hangfar. Put some pants on, will you? Alright, so we're in like some docks underneath. Upper Teebs! Nice to see the dark spitting out more than shadows. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, the NPCs are conversating upstairs. She doesn't care if the grandeur lives or dies. I wouldn't go that far. Upper Nisa. If you need something, ask Jahira. I'm on duty. Got Korga's hairstyle. Skywind. True soul, I believe. How fortunate we are to have you among us. Papa Skyrim. Use the roots to get up on the roof. So no boats in the docks for us to take a little lovely night out. Harper Caro and Harper Megan. Poor Jonas. Kid was as 
green as they come. He was joking this morning. Jonas, I mean. No time to speak. He was always joking. He said it was good for morale, but he just liked seeing people laugh. He was a good harper. A good friend. Yeah, witnessing a one of your own go out into the darkness and come back as a zombie isn't a very good term. Give the Kratos advice. Close your heart to it. <laughs> Do not feel. I'm sure he'd appreciate your prayers. I hope so. They're all I have to give. Thank you. You're a good person. Tragic love. Shadowheart is inspired. Persuade. Nope. Witness Jonas's funeral. The sniffle. Okay. Head up. Let's go into the inn. So, oh, we have some neutrals. His Majesty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, we have some neutrals here. His Majesty and Raphael. Okay. 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 What's he doing here? Just relaxing. He's just like, yes, I thought I would come to this inn. Okay. Hello, sir. I, you, you, get, you'll never guess what happened. Need something? Yes. Perhaps if you lost a follower or two. I prefer to travel in smaller groups. It's more intimate. Hmm. There's like part, there's two elements here that I'm curious about. Because Will is a devil hunter. So he could have some good dialogue about this whole deal with the devil thing. And then Karlak also hates devils too. But. Excellent. I'm going to have Will be in the party for this. Um, and Astarian obviously said, let's chat with Raphael, I think that there could be something cool here. Uh, so just for now, just for now, um, I'll put Astarian back in the party and then I should probably... He's just... What? What? Wait, now? What is going on? What's going on with this guy? I leave to go to Trialta Crags. His backpack ends up in my inventory. I get confused. I go back to him and then we go and talk to him. And then it's just the Shadow Curse Lance. You wish to speak? And then we're like, we're in the midst of the Shadow Coast, still feeling at home with us. I can't be like, hey, come out with me, come join the party, but I can access his inventory. Still feeling at home here with us? The surroundings are less bucolic, I understand. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness but one I couldn't do without. Thank you. We've already had this because... Uh, <laughs> you're welcome. You're too modest by far. More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. So this is... This is weird. Do I have to fuck him to get him into the, my party? <laughs> yes, forgive me. Yeah, shush. Sometimes I forget. Um, I can access him, if you know what I mean. Housen's Grove Garments 
Feeling the fabric, the strangest feeling occurs. Your thumbs brush sun dappled leaves. Skim the water of a creek, tangle in the fur of some panty animal, heat and breath. Um, house and underwear, why does it smell like a herb garden? There you go. Take these off. Take the, take them off. There he is. Cheeks and all. Um, is this a glitch? I don't know. Is he supposed to be able to have his inventory accessed? <laughs> But he's not a companion, but he has all of the companion things like he should be, but he can't come out into the field with me. Maybe he will? Eventually? He has all of the makings of a companion except for being able to be in my party. And it confuses me. It confuses me. But while we're here... It's like a ritual. You have to put everyone in Minthara's um, clothing <laughs> just to see how it'll how it'll look. Oh, actually, I got got another one for you there, House. And if you don't mind, we'll take this opportunity. I've just got things that we should do. You know, take this off. Put this on. There you go. For no good reason. <laughs> All right, put them back on. Hey, so you put your underwear back on. Sorry if it smells like grass um interesting interesting i don't get it but i guess we will um eventually anyway the point of this was to put a star in in the party because Raphael's here put your clothes back on will you so we've taken karlak out briefly I don't know if what this means for us, but we'll just do a bit of a clothes swap. And then we'll swap them back over after. Okay. So anyway, leave the camp and I'll save the game. But yeah, we had the conversation with Astarian and he was like, mm, if... Uh, Raphael's around. I want to have a chat, so keep that in mind. Pre as you are, this is no time for a natter. Head on into last light. Thank you. The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Ha! Huh. Is that why the wardrobe is here? Oh, aloe oil. Made from succulent flowering plant, the oil is about as useful on your journey as a false nose to a clown protest group. Okay. And we have breezy sandals and umber trousers. Um, alright. So, I guess if I, um... If I equip everything, that'll be trouble. Darkmoor the Wicked. The bear's limbs look like they were broken to fit in this pose. Its eyes sad and lifeless. Oh, we got a taxidermy bear. What a vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. Anyone got a better nature check? Look at the size of that thing. It could eat a person whole. Or a double portion of children. Draw more the way. Premium trinkets to do dogs. Storybooks. Mattis. It took a veritable army to run him from the wood of sharp teeth. Who in the hell's brought him here? Cool. Will's storybooks. Keep a blade close. Wait, that bear. Darkmoor the wicked. The terror of Cloakwood. <laughs> you stole away more children than any vampire. And look Last at you now. Best bargain, right here. <laughs> so, wait a sec. Because Will succeeds, does that mean everyone just automatically knows? Is that Darkmoor the Wicked? Yeah, wow. I don't believe it. So one character succeeds. The territory ran from the wood of sharp teeth to Cloakwood. It took half an army to drive him out. How did he end up here? That's funny. So... To explain it, to explain it in universe, it makes sense that you would have like one, like 
people looking at it and being like, huh, giant bear. And then you've got like Will and he's like, no guys, that's Darkmoor the Wicked. And then everybody goes, oh, I've heard of Darkmoor the Wicked. It's this bear. And then they all talk about it together. And that's so fun. I wonder what the next move is. That's Darkmoor the Wicked. Imagine meeting him in the flesh. Or rather, in the hide and stuffing. All right, I have to see what everyone else has to say. So now if we come back here with these characters and they look at it. Damn, it's good to be alive. Why? You are not. You are not garroted. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, Karlik? Darkmoor the Wicked! Legendary King of the Forest! Cool. Legend has it, his kingdom ran from the Wood of Sharp Teeth to Cloak Wood. How'd he end up here? Last Light's best bargains right here! Barkus is here too. God damn, this is a... This is a fucking gathering of everybody. Darkmoor the Wicked. The tale is known even to the Githyanki. It's said that it took 500 warriors to drive him from his lands. I thought he'd be bigger. It is clear, Mom. Good. We'll leave soon. Believe it or not, but I know that Have a gander there. at the fire. Darkmoor the Wicked. Oh, he terrorized everyone and everything between the woods of Cloak and Sharp Teeth. Odd place for him to end up, this. That's very cute. All right. So I will remember this going forward that if we're just if we succeed a check on something that's an investigation like that um we can then have everybody uh Thanks. talk about it premium trinkets and doodars all right original group back now we have to apparently leave our equipment i'm wondering if we just if we unequip it whether that'll count you know or whether or not they're actually serious and we have to keep everything in the wardrobe outside. <laughs> well, I've unequipped it, but it's still, I guess, on our person. Interesting times. That's it. Wait, there's only one way to find out. They've got weapons, look! They've got a blade bow on the back. Jahira's got twin daggers. Okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> Raphael, our level 16 fiend, just playing. Patrols report more activity. Oh, this is not a chessboard, it's a lance board. They're playing lance? <laughs> 865. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're doing that anytime soon. When Raphael reduces an enemy's hit points to zero, he severs the soul from their body. Oh my lord. Effects that control or incapacitate creatures in the last one turn against this being of pure infernal ambition. Buddy, buddy, buddy. I can throw him though. And so Barkus is here. Oh, his majesty is a cat. <laughs> his majesty is a cat, indeed. Is that her majesty's little pillow? Oh my God, we must talk. We simply must talk. Um, I'll take my hood off in here. We're inside. I do not need to shelter myself from the uh, from the darkness out there. Let's talk to Mattis. We're going to get some nice uh, reunions with some of the tieflings. Check it out. We've gone legitimate and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? You got any stock for a extra special customer like me? I'm going to do my sleight of hand with the rings again. Yours is the first happy face I've seen in a good while. I'm alive, ain't I? What's not to like? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Moore gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack -a day Am I being swindled once more? Mole said I could have it. Oh, if it was worth any coin, do you think Mole would have given it to you? <laughs> now we can, can I add my, I can add my voice of the circle here. Which is once per long rest. Is this my most important thing ever? Um, I can get some guidance.
from one thief to another, you know, this is the constant game. Mole could respect this game recognized game. I'll use voice of the circle today. Watch, uh, watch a very important persuasion check come up later and uh, I'll get screwed. All for a key. Oh, didn't even, did not even need to do it either. Did not even need to do it. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Oh, interesting. Another persuasion check. Maybe I should make use of that, but my insight, look at that, insight proficiency. With all the other fabulous things you found in this inn, why hold on to a dusty old key? Hmm. I guess it is kind of old. Here. <laughs> Birds of a feather. Oh, you cheeky fuck. <laughs> Tower-shaped key. He says it does look kind of old. <laughs> Birds of a feather. You calling me old, kid? An elaborate key plated with silver. So we have a tower-shaped key. Interesting. All right. Well, I have it now. Apparently, I can just take this potion of greater healing because it's not red. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Can I just take anything here? Seems someone's been skimming our supplies. Don't wander far. We need to talk. I wandered so far, Jahira. You have no idea. Sorry. I'll keep wandering. In the market for something special? Yes. Let's see what you have. Okay. The sending shell. We have the conch shell. Okay, so faint whispers creep from this sending shell when you hold it close, yet the method of sending messages from it is unclear. I think I can hear the ocean in here. You know what I love about this? Uh, Mattis, oh, another cloak. Mattis has upgraded from the rings to just stuff. <laughs> but apparently, the fishing rod of alertness, you cannot be surprised unless something unexpected happens. <laughs> I think it's just fucking brilliant. It really, really is brilliant. Arrow of Sparrow Slaying. Magic weapon meant to slay a particular kind of creature, sparrows in this case. The arrow will grievously wound sparrows it hits, the poor wee-winged fellows. What if I use this on uh, that raven <laughs> instead? This is crazy. Uh, Decanter of nearly endless water. This decanter can in fact sometimes run out endless water. However, it will definitely regain its properties next day, the day after for sure. <laughs> the spoon of saltiness. When salting food, the bearer of this shadow cursed utensil will always add too little or too much, but never the right amount. Truly the deviousness is top tier. God, the, the meta writing of some of these is, um, is just absolutely brilliant. Now, I did buy those rings, but uh, he's upped his prices since the rings, you know? He's he's gone legitimate. He's gone up in the world, so... Maybe someone else can have those. The Oil of Bane, Seeing Invisibility, Construct Slaying. Now, Tarbell's Guide to Distractions, a much-read guide to chicanery, stagecraft, and earning a quick coin. We have, as per my last letter, we have an open letter on oppression and peacocks. Something I'm curious about is I don't think these books, these notes, I'm pretty sure we sold them to Mattis when we were in the grove. So they're not, they're not new. However, this stuff is new. We have Cloak of Cunning Broom. When the wearer disengages, they also create a foggy cloud with two meter radius that lasts for one turn. One of the relics of Deep Dwarah's rebellious children. The children found nothing of use in the vault and were discouraged. But in the morning, the vault keykeeper's son, who admired the children, sought them out. And in his arms, he brought a wealth of things forged in shadow. Why did they wait until this late into the game to give us cloaks all of a sudden? They're like, you needed to come to the Dark Lands for your cloaks. I do wish that maybe there was like at least maybe one or two that you could have found much earlier. Um, Mattis, my dear fellow. I will trade with you. I want that cloak and I want these shoes. Acrobatics and AC plus one for evasive shoes. 
Rogues in Waterdeep prefer these spring-loaded boots that make evading the City Watch a breeze. I will take it. And in terms of things to sell, I do have things to sell. But um, they're all, for the most part, back at camp. So I'll be back, sir. Believe you me, I'll be back. But I'll take those for now. I think I'll need to drop off some things with all these backpacks and whatnot, and um, doing business with you. And then I'll sell some stuff. Okay, sold some things. Sold it to Damon because Damon's got a decent amount of coin. Nothing more for us to buy at this point, though. But that's relieve some weight. The guest log. Jora and Claudette Amster. Jusso Dominguez, Grey Eyes the Wizened, Athena Duchamp, Elo Uha, Boo and Friend, the Mysterious Mr. Plack, DJ Mulligan, Al Kai, Elope and Miles Lotz, Alice Gregor, Jam and Anne Byrne, Grace and Dylan Koff, Art Kalak. Those are some names. Those are some names, that's for sure. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, so Jahira was still. Oh no, Alfieri is alive! Oh my god. <laughs> When I went to the grave with the fucking instrument, I was like, did she get buried? Okay. She lives. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, Scout, seems we missed one another at the grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. I don't see Zevlor. Don't tell me he's missing as well. Aye, and more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze, begged us to surrender. But they were toying with us, making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others, maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. I love that I can be like, you are bound for Baldur's Gate. I don't know where Baldur's Gate is located on a map. <laughs> so I actually don't know how to get there myself. <laughs> As a person, you know, I'm like, how do we, uh, how do we fix that? You know, just like I'm about to fix my webcam. Hang on a sec. I was poking out a little bit. Oh, hang on. Watch this. Now dig on this. There we go. I was poking out a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Make sure I'm within my bounds. There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, have hope. You survived. I'm sure the others did too. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Alfira. Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. I was worried they got you too. I need this outfit for Will. All the bells and whistles. <laughs> I heard what happened. The people were taken to Moonrise. I keep replaying it. Over and over in my head. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids. Telling them it was going to be alright. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first. Then his tongue. Jesus. I'm so sorry. It just... It just never stops. Roland, of all people, saved us. Huh. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. Roland, the apprentice wizard. Yes. He shielded me and the kids while his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. Roland isn't taking it so well. 
None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? To linger in the past is to condemn our future. Focus on the here and now. Don't center on your anxieties, Obi-Wan. Keep your focus here and now where it belongs. You make it sound so easy. But I'll try. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Don't worry, I'll find them. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Maybe not. Aw, a smile better suits. Will is inspired. I need to have some, I need to burn some of this inspiration soon. Um, offer a hopeful response to Alfira's inquiry. So how much we got at the moment? We're rocking two inspos. Um, wonderful. Ah, oh, the kids. And here's Roland. So Roland stayed here, Mr. Ego. So that'll be an interesting talk as well. Up a boar. Jahira will probably be the last person I speak to, just because there's so much happening here. Oh my god! <laughs> That's what the sleeping we've been seeing is, yes. You do sleep on the pillow. That is so cute. Mm, better not be cursed. Let the Duke rot in prison oh, Jesus. Hello. I, uh, oh, and his counselor Floric. And all the fist. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the curse. Any help Got a tonic. She wants the same thing. This guy. Got a tonic. Shut down and seemingly unresponsive to whatever is happening happening around him. She'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Jayla's doing her best, but he shows no signs of waking. We can wait. So Floric is here. If you have an alternative in mind, please do propose it. <sighs> Patience. You may know a way through the curse. Councillor Floric, what are you wearing in the Shadow Curse lands like this? God damn. He's going to seduce the shadows. The is to do nothing. Let the Duke rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns. Far from it. We need a way into the towers. I intend to find one. What I won't do is send any more of our people into the curse. Any help from Jahira? She wants the same thing we do. To save the city. But she doesn't care if the Grand Duke lives or dies. I wouldn't go that far. But her? That haircut is atrocious. And I suspect she'd sacrifice anyone to achieve that. Jayla's doing her best. Okay. I just wanted to listen to some of what we're saying. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Floric. Hells. I know that voice. Will? In Timora's name, what happened to you? The Hells have had their vengeance, and I doubt they are done with me. Ye gods. Fate has no shortage of troubles to burden us with. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers? First character to make any visual acknowledgement of Will outside of our party. <laughs> Because obviously they know each other. And that's why I'm I was glad that we've got Will here to talk to the counselor because we didn't have Will with us when the whole Duke Ravenguard stuff came up. So this is nice. What's with the fellow in the cot? Isabel cleared this place and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. Oh. Beggars believe he's alive at all. What? Hopefully. He'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Crazy. So this man appeared when the protection was put over the place. We need to take another look at that guest log. What can you tell me about, Isabel? Cleric of Saluna. She's got a room upstairs if you want to meet her. Just don't interrupt her while she's doing whatever it is that keeps this place shadow free. Okay. She's... I like to talk to her. Wouldn't we all? I'm not even sure he's fully conscious, but feel free to say hello. Maybe a new face will inspire him. Unfortunately, I won't be here when he comes around. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Gortash, as in Enver Gortash. Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. A lot's changed since you left Baldur's Gate, Will. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. <sighs> You're leaving while Duke Ravengard is still captive in Moonrise. My role here is limited. I can be put to better use convincing the Council to send reinforcements to help rescue the Duke. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Ketherick throws at us, I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Damn, okay. Off they go then. The journey back to Baldur's Gate won't be easier, but your task here is harder still. Timora be with you. Uh, sometimes I just... I wish I could ask more of the dialogue options, because they're... It's not like... I wanted to spend every opportunity going through every single dialogue option ever because I know that's not realistic. I do love to do it. But there are just sometimes multiple questions that would be really nice to ask in a conversation instead of, you get one question and then leave me. You know? Okay. If you're poking around this God's forsaken place, you must have someone in Moonrise too. Hope you find them. You're heading into the towers, are you? Good. I pray it's not too late for Duke Ravengard. Premium trinkets. We're discussing fist business, and you're no fist. I'll fist you in a minute, mate. An extra blade could be the difference between rescuing Duke Ravengard or losing him forever. I hope you'll help us. Nice to see a friendly face come out the shadows for once. We see what we... Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. Nathaniel and me are climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We. We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken, a Grand Duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. Ripped by the shadow fell. Yeah. That song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met Art anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Oh, I, was, I was hoping to also be able to do that one. God damn it. I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. 
please, if you have any idea how to get through to him. I should have just said the house and thing. Arcana or a medicine check. Observe his present condition. I have a plus two from wisdom. Let's try this. I'm not feeling very medicinal this morning. I'm going to roll again. Dude, the inspiration. I hate it. <laughs> the inspiration. Oh, it goes. You want to use an inspiration, huh? How about that? You notice nothing that might indicate a prognosis. I don't think we've had a good inspiration roll in a long time. Let's do an arcana check. Thank you. I'm just magically attuned today. I passed my arcana check on the constant flame outside, so Apocalypse is feeling magical, not medicinal this morning. He spent a long time in the shadow, Fal. A Sharan realm without color or light. It's had a terrible effect on him. He's been in the Shadowfell. All memories will have been stripped away. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe? Thank you. Investigation, look closer at him. There may be something that you missed. Fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. A stringed instrument. Okay. Did you already check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Okay. Flame color. Do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't sane. A worn letter. Hmm. Looks official. What's that in his pocket? Worn letter. Plain unadorned note. Assignee, art color, rank flame, objective to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs, headed by Kethric Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Orders take lodging in the last light in, begin investigation into the local house of healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. Note the region's Thorm family are long standing devotees of Saluna, but rumors indicate a Sharon enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Huh. The region's Thorm family are long-standing devotees of Saluna, but from what we've read about Kethric Thorm, uh, he's doing Sharon stuff, is he not? So the gaining momentum is like maybe switched over. Grand Duke Elton. So he was at the House of Healing. Wonder what he found. House of Healing is out here. God damn. Moonrise Towers and Tieflings. And then there's the House in Deep Shadows. God, there's gonna be a bunch. I genuinely think that with the way that this map is showcasing itself, we might have to go and infiltrate Moonrise Towers through here to get over here, even. So I think that'll be an idea. Now, in his pocket, eh? Monsters, snuffling, and stalking in the shade where we are walking. You can help him. Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. Heard you're working on a way in yourself? Not sure I'd call it that myself. This fellow's in no condition to help anyone. That makes you our best bet. Hope it's a good one. I'm the best bet, eh? Uh, I'm not going to be able to pickpocket this guy because everyone's going to be like, what's going on? But there you go, Arch. Right. 
Let's have a look. We are fearsome black and red. We are living. They are dead. Two of us. Let me check that. Oh, portrait of a woman. Oh, I'll take that with me, I guess. Sure. I said I like that. I'm going to take it. Harper's Testimonial. Uh, Harper's Testimonial, the last stand of Kethrick Thorm, chosen of Shah. So there you go. So Kethrick Thorm seems to have been in the family was in the Saluna situation, and then he was chosen. The pursuant text describes a battle between Kethrick Thorm's faithful and magical Harper forces. I do not know what magic the Dark Justicia has summoned to our plane, but if it came from the Weave, then let it be cursed for eternity. For three days, we sieged the towers. For three days, their dark bolts cleaved our ranks. And on the third day, as his men and women that last began to fall, Catherick entered battle. Flow of the Kionthar. Here you find a rich history of the Kionthar River. Evidently, it flowed through half a dozen settlements, more and more springing up over time. And the picture this book evokes is that lasts a hundred years. One of the barges drifting over the orange water under a burning autumn sky and the barges smelling of cast wine, salted pork, exciting spices, less exciting spices like rosemary, which is still fragrant and nice, but altogether not terribly exciting, and children running barefoot by the banks, waving to the grinning, sweating sailors from their play among the river reeds. Very good. Indubitably, scroll of sleep. Okay, so that's that room, which had uh, Floric and the Fists, and they're going to leave. And in here... Hey, hey, I was coming in here. Anything yet, but I will. I can feel it. Mercon and no Hopper Just keep your eyes peeled. Good to see you're still breathing. It's the best we can hope for. This place is awesome. There's so much stuff. Just don't let any uh, anyone sing to you. You know you're susceptible to that. Loose plank, scribbled note, and snowburst ring. When the wearer deals cold damage, they also create a 4.5 meter circle of ice around the target. Gale! Gale is going to become an ice wizard. I need to dye his beard white and put him in a blue robe and have him go, ah, <laughs> Ice King! <laughs> I need to find him a crown, and we're going to make Gale dress as the Ice King. It's happening at some point. I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> A plain, unadorned note. The journal script is antiquated, but its pages look like they've barely aged. How much longer must I languish here? I had hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day ago, but that blasted toll housekeeper won't accept my papers. When father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like there's something to hide. The shrines to the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I had hoped to learn more about Kethrick Thorm, the village's leader, but talk of him seems to put people on edge. I'm not sure I can bear another hour in this loathsome place. I miss that. Awesome. Ah, there you go. He acknowledged the us finding treasure. There's an emerald ring here, bud. It's mine now, though. Snooze, you lose. I love the idea of uh, <laughs> the, being able to take this and the rotting fruit still being there. All right. Um, in regards to this, just one second. We're gonna go pop back to camp. Just to check on Gale, uh, for no particular reason. So I'm hoping that you see the vision, right? You see the vision. We all see the vision of Ice King Gale. We see it, right? We have an ice mage on our hands. <laughs> there he is. Santa Claus, he's coming down from the North Pole. Look at this beautiful uh, portrait. Good stuff. All right. All right, thanks, Gail. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you behind in camp, though. You won't be coming with me today. Um, so yeah, we have an Ice King in our party now. Don't worry. If I put him, if I put him in my party, if I put him in my party, we'll change him back. He's just currently doing a little bit of a wizard disguise, you know? He's like, do not judge a poor old wizard. And then he 
kills him. Because they don't expect him to be young and sprightly. You know, he just dyed his hair white and grew his beard out. Will, I'd like you to join me, but first, the cultists have taken your father to Moonrise Towers. Florix confirmed it. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. The Absolute's cult is headquartered there. What do you think they want with your father? They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravengard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defenses? They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin, unless we put a stop to it. Can we trust Florek? I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked Father from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tear's heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. To Moonrise, then. We can't let the Absolute take Grand Duke Ravengard. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. I'd like I'm you to join me. You've just got to make a little space. Gale could do with the rest. He's looking pretty old. Ready and willing. Lovely. Okay. <laughs> Let's leave. Ice King Gale can't hurt you guys. He's not real. Or is he? Okay. Now. We can get on with what we were doing. Looking around. All right, shall we finally chat with Raphael so Astarian can uh, have this conversation? Your move, Maul. You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your mistra, or come for my Cyric. Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? We're square now, Chief. Say, do you play Lance Ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. So it's not called Lance, it's called Lance Board. My insight fail. Accidentally jostle the board Mole's way. Will a devil see through this slate of hand? This is a game that tests your mind. Look at the board with fresh eyes. What does your opponent hide? The Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. Nice. Uh, he's approving. Wow. How's that for Callum Sham rolls? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? Careful, Maul. What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. I wonder if that'll be an, uh, an Astarian inspiration, but we got some approval from him, rare as it is. Um, I wanted to... Yeah, the monk action I liked, because that way we... While we did give a nudge in a direction mentally, Moll still achieved victory herself instead of us being like, oh, sorry. Um, I liked that. However, an offer to a child, Raphael? Come on. Don't have children make deals with the devil. They don't understand long-term consequences. Just bugger off back to hell, would you? <laughs> 
There's plenty about me you have no idea about. Don't I? Indeed. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying she still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. <laughs> my old, well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. Ooh. We haven't seen Astarian's back. I've put him in underwear, haven't I? We did the underwear swap. I don't think I've looked at his back, though. Astarian, strip for me, darling. Let's have a look. Interesting. I don't think he knows. Oh, that's an interesting dialogue choice for a... Uh... Should we prod a devil's ego? Could be fun. How intriguing. When Raphael says about Moll, still has the freedom to pick the only option she has left, uh, brings up a very interesting thing for my journal when we go through Find a Cure, and all of them have been dead ends, but Raphael has offered us the deal with the devil, and it'll be very interesting if that's going to be one of the things where we get towards like the end in terms of how do we get this damn thing out of us and this is the only option but i'll be curious if there's a way we can wriggle out of a deal with the devil it's just so exciting to see what could lie in the future i'm tempted to prod at a devil's ego and be like i don't think he knows really it's something very important to your master. But is it a love letter, a warning, or a deed of ownership? I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. Mm. You'll get back to me. This is important, devil. When? Don't <laughs> worry, I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Oh, poof. And he is. Ah, helping the little guy was a will inspiration, and Will wants to talk, not a starion. A blushing apple begging to be plucked? Mm. Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. You need to warn her to away from Raphael before it's too late. Mm, we should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game she'll walk away. And if she doesn't? Then Raphael collects another trophy and Moll sells her independence to the hells. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Moll would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. You want to do this dialogue again? Oh, two inspos. Orphan camaraderie? Okay, nice. We got two. Uh, help Mole win a game of Lance Board. And Will has helped Mole win the game. So double. I love that. Uh, unfortunately, he has now left. Um, considering the neutral nature of his majesty, I actually thought that it was going to be Raphael's cat that was here while he was here, but the cat is still here, so I guess not. 
Need something? Interesting. I thought we might have been able to touch base on this. Um, I think we should do a long rest, and maybe there might be a chat about it. Shah's blessings upon you. Okay. I have speak with animals, so let's speak with His Majesty. Hiss! I say hiss! <laughs> Intimidation check. Intimidation check. It's a performance, of course, so there must be some bardic inspiration in here too. Thank you, Will. A little twang. Uh, oh. Oh! Exactly on 14. The bardic inspiration saves the roll. Hiss! I see. Yes. Perhaps you're right. You're in my territory, get out. What's your name? I call myself His Majesty. We need to get you a little crown. That's so funny. Good, I'd like it if we could have a civil discussion. Fine. <laughs> Please tell me I can adopt this pet and have an owlbear, a dog, and a cat. <gasps> yes. Oh, if, you know, if only I learned how to read. How did you get to this place? It was quite straightforward. I slinked. Heard anything interesting around here? Plenty of pointless banging about. The only highlight was when the cleric here promised me a bit of milk that is yet to materialize. My what? conclusion? She's a liar. The voice. Like I said, the voices for the animals? Mwah. They're always perfect, I think. I could use someone like you in my camp. Care to join? I'd rather die. No! <laughs> no! Please, His Majesty. I have something to ask. Be gone! <laughs> okay, so, meow. Um, hmm. I wish to pick up His Majesty and take it back to camp. That's funny. Ah, you found your way. Good. What are you doing here? I thought I'd scout ahead, check for any nasty surprises, of which I found a great deal. And what did you find? Shades, death, harpers, flaming fist, and this, of course, and the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. There's a recipe I'm trying to replicate. Something that might help you. That is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. Of course I am. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the Brilliant Retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wilbrin. God damn. Yeah, I think we need to infiltrate and go to Moonrise. And it might be a goblin camp scenario, right? Where we go there you go there, and then we're like, I'm a true soul. Let me in. And then you can kind of wander about there freely until something goes something goes wrong. So we could try that. See if we can free people. And um figure it out. We'll figure it out. But that could be that could be the plan. An inkling of the plan that I will tell you. Just a tiny bit of the plan, just in case it doesn't go to plan. <laughs> Wolverine who? <laughs> My memory is very short, you see. How did Deep Gnomes get trapped in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well, with you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. 
The brilliant retort will aid you. <laughs> Thus, I will make it. The brilliant retort. Love it. I like the name. What's it do? It goes boom. <laughs> Let's not ruin the surprise. Hmm? You... You do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Okay. What now? I, uh, is the brilliant retort ready? Is it ready yet? I'd like I'm to sure trade. Um, what do you got for me? Box's log. I can buy your own log. Gloves of the automaton. Circuitry interface. You are considered a construct. Your weapon attack rolls have advantage and you have resistance to lightning damage for 10 turns. Wow, how interesting. You are considered a construct. Oh. Acrobat shoes, acrobatics plus one. These flexible shoes were once owned by Audren Willows, who, in a somewhat ironic twist of fate, ran away from the circus to join her parents back home. Okay. Rings of geniality, persuasion and deception plus one. Glibness is not only in the tongue, but in the body. Gesture is powerful. Think of how many words of comfort can be stored and saved when a hug will do just as sweetly. Yes, I will take that. And I will take that. Aberration slaying. There will probably be some aberrations out here, but it's just the the one. Dragon slaying deals double damage to dragons. You know what? I could save him for a good day against an aberration or a dragon. I'll spend some money with you, Barkus. I'll take that ring. You know what? I'm going to take your log for some reason. I'm going to take your smoke powder bombs. Hope you don't need that for the retort. In regards to your automaton... It's kind of interesting. I don't know about if we really need the acrobatics. We've got better shoes. It's also monstrosity slaying. Why not? Let's just take a bunch of them. We also have the teleporting wherever you fire the arrow, which is very fun. Um, I'll take those. I'm tossing up the the gloves, but I think I'll pass on the gloves also. I will pass on the gloves. So I'll take that and I'll balance the offer with coin of my own. There you go, thank you. If you're done rifling through my things. Oh yes, because I've taken your log. Well maintained but evidently weather-worn journal, containing the notes of one Barkus root. Locations of interest, the Elf Song Tavern, the Blushing Mermaid, Moonhaven Ruins, the Underdark, Woolburn, likely taken by force, interview unsavory elements, known and unknown, I will find him. Dear Woolburn's mother, her name? I write to inquire, I write to inform, I write in relation to flames, two flames in the 34, 5 times 1-0043-445-90. Don't know what that means, but... If you don't mind, I'd like to trade. I'm sure you would. I found this really nice book. Do you want it? Take it. I'll just donate that to you. Take your book back, will you? No, if you. <laughs> uh, now, uh, that ring, I want it. So again, advantage on saving throws against being charmed, and more movement speed plus three meters, which I really like. But I'm gonna do that. And I also have Voice of the Circle, so it can be very persuasive, which is good for us. Now, Astarian has had his conversation, um, Astarian has had his conversation with Raphael, which means I can go and put him back in timeout. I'm kidding. I'll probably bring him with me for a little while, but I think after this conversation and before we have a chat with Jahira, because that will definitely... Uh, that would definitely move things in the story. Uh, we are going to go to camp and we are going to do a long rest. Uh, so time for us to go to sleep, I think. Greeting. Thing, it seems like we don't have any of them wanting to talk about stuff. Need something? I really thought of Starian, especially after the conversation with Raphael, would uh, talk about stuff. But. I guess not. Pale Elf. We met Raphael at the last light in. Starian asked about the scars Kazador left on his back. Raphael seemed interested. He said he'd think about a Starian's request and see us again soon. 
I can imagine um, Astarian having a conversation with Raphael at camp, maybe. Yeah, you brush that hair with a mirror while you're wearing a hood. Sure. Keep a blade close. So I'm going to take a peek at your back, sir, because we've, I don't think we've ever looked. Oh, oh. Wow. Okay. There you go. I see them now. It is a... Uh, Tidy blueies. If you're reading this, you've managed to bed up ahead me. Either way, you got lucky. I love that. Very good. Okay. I'm going to equip everyone's stuff back on because I respected the rules of putting away our weapons, but I don't know if it was necessary considering everyone else in the place seemed to also uh, have their weapons out. Okay. And these things have stayed interesting. Long rest time. Let us sleep. Who want me? Anyone? Who want me? Already feeling better. Hey, you. Karlak, I'm worried about what Damon said about your engine. We need to get you back to Avernus or it's going to blow. Listen. I'm never going back. If you said I could die right now or live a thousand years in the hells, I'd choose to go out now with my freedom intact. I don't expect anyone to understand that, but I've been dealt a hand most people don't have to contemplate playing. Okay. Interesting. But I want you to live. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's, that's so selfish. Ugh, it's this is a rough one because it is a it's a selfish when you're like I want you to live to disregard the consequences, but it is also something that comes out of fear of loss and losing someone that you care about. And respecting their decision is also good. It's like oh man, I don't think we get to make a kind of decision like that together because it's her life these are actually these are really tough choices if I might make the selfish one but I want you to live I want to live too but not under any circumstances I have the power to choose now and I'm going to make that choice myself but I don't want to talk about this now I've been given a huge gift I can touch the people I love for the first time in a decade and for the first time in a decade there are people I care about all around me let me enjoy that please this is why we never touched on that specific dialogue thing while we were allowing her to enjoy her happiness because I could tell it would take us into a direction that was uh, unhappy, you know. You're so stubborn, it's infuriating. All right, Karlak, all right. I'll leave it alone for now. Thanks, soldier. I just want to celebrate this. At least for a little. Okay. There you go. We touched upon it. Well, hello. What can I do for you? you should probably dye your camp clothes blue too, I reckon. Go ahead. I'm listening. <laughs> You've got something to say. So this is this. I wonder what can happen here. Then we know our mission. All roads converge. This is what we did. We can't and we won't. Fish. Okay, I'll just say it again for some reason. I also put him in some better camp clothes. Let us go to bed, shall we? Really? I want to tell you that I was, I was, I felt very confident that we would get something. Damn. Okay. 
Never you mind. Uh, just a peaceful, sweet dream. Alright. Well, after that peaceful, sweet dream and that long rest where I was expecting a story to happen uh, and a cutscene, uh, did not. So we'll have to wait and see uh, if Astarian wants to share anything about his scars. It's probably due to that terrible thing where the relationship is fair. Astarian's approval is slowly creeping up there, slowly but surely. Um, I might keep in the... In, Keep him in the party for uh, a little bit and we'll see what happens. But uh, with that one, we'll bring this episode of Baldur's Gate 3 to a close. I hope you've enjoyed this one today. Next time, we'll be speaking with Jahira and seeing what her plan is. And maybe we'll take a little bit of a way down to Moonrise. Maybe that will involve us actually uh, hanging out with that crew and we can play the liar and have a guide and they can we can infiltrate. Who knows? We'll just have to see what happens. But thank you so much for joining me today, and I will see you next time.